when you are working with the large data sets in google sheet you will have to often scroll down or to the right and when you are doing it you may want to keep the rows and columns visible so that you can figure out what a data point means and what row or column are you looking at to do this generally we need to freeze the rows or columns in google sheet i will show you this by using my google sheet so currently i have one google sheet uh, it is it has many columns and many rows so there are two ways to freeze the rows for google sheet one is a shortcut simply you can use this thick lines let's say like currently i didn't freeze any rows if i want to freeze the first row so has a header so i will simply drag this thick line to the down to the first row so now see this is region now and now if i want to extend that to <clears throat> other two rows so i simply has to drag this so you know so you can do the same for columns also even you can freeze the columns see this now uh, if you have if you scroll the right side and you can see this and there is another way to freeze the rows and columns here that's with regular using regular menu okay that can be done using view menu so here we have freeze under view menu there we have one row means top row and if you want to freeze the first top row top two rows you can say two rows or one more option is there uh, if you see here it is showing up to current row that means my mouse currently cursor is activated at 10th row that's why it is saying 10th or if you keep that at 15th row it will say up to current 15 rows so you can freeze the rows till that point similarly for columns also thank you